<laughs> what a day. <laughs> what a day it's been. And it's only two o'clock. And I hope you know that I'm being sarcastic when I say what a day it's been because I didn't wake up until 12. <laughs> or really, I didn't get out of bed until 12. This whole lockdown thing has really been messing up my sleep schedule. Hope you can all relate because it's been, it's just been whack. Anyway, hey everybody. Um, it's, it's great to be here. I'm really happy to be here. And thank you for being here as well. You know, it's been a while and it's been a while, while. Like it's been a long, there's something in my mouth. It's been, I really can't talk without laughing because I'm so happy to see you. Um, and also because I don't like, I feel like, I feel like I'm talking to somebody and like I'm in desperate need of like human connection and like contact. That's awesome. And I'm really great. I'm, I'm really great. <laughs> Let's take a sip of coffee. So, you know, it's been a while since I've made a YouTube video and I just, I really want to get back to making YouTube videos because I really, really, really love it. Like I really do. And I just miss having an outlet like that. And I also, um, I don't really have a lot to do <laughs> like with my life right now. So that's, that's awesome. Um, so I need something to like fill my time. And so I'm going to make lots of YouTube videos. <laughs> and edit them and that'll take a lot of time so that'll be great it'll be really 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 great you know i've decided i want to make more videos about the things that i'm passionate about like music and film and production and screenwriting and stuff that i like really care about because those are the things that i'm interested in and i like talking about those things and i would love to talk about those things with you guys whoever's watching this, um, all of my friends, all of my best friends. Yeah, we're a-okay, we're still recording. I haven't had this much storage on my phone since 1991. Yeah, so I really just wanna make videos about the things that I'm passionate about. So that's what this is gonna be. This is just like a life update kind of video. I'm currently in Ireland, which is cool. I'm living in my sister's apartment. Um, this is my room, vibes. I, I wanna do like a room tour slash apartment tour video um, cause I think that'd be cool to show you guys around my space and where I'm kind of living my life right now. <laughs> Let's like jump back a few months, shall we? Let's like go back in time, like rewind a little bit. It's been a crazy year. And I know like, I know it's been crazy just in general for the world, right? It's been insane, but it's just been a little bit unsettling from the get go. Um, so I was actually on tour in March when the world ended. Happy apocalypse. <laughs> the apocalypse struck. I was in Miami on tour, vibing my head off. Like I was vibing so hard. It was amazing. I was on tour with Mel, uh, my best friend. Coming with the cheese, Manto. And we were having literally the time of our life. Like we were having so much fun. And then it was it was a Wednesday night. Um, we had shows the rest of the week in Florida, in South Florida. And then we were supposed to go back up to Orlando for our last show in Florida. And then we were supposed to fly to Nebraska for like the next week of shows. But we, it was Wednesday night. We were in the middle of a show, literally in the middle of a show. And I was sitting backstage and everybody was kind of on edge that day because things had been like getting canceled and getting postponed and whatever. And I was backstage waiting to go on for the next number. And I got an email from my college that said like we were going online for the rest of the semester. And that was like a huge, just such a, an odd feeling, like being backstage, literally in the middle of a show where I have to like, smile and like perform for all these people. But yet I was getting this like crazy news at the same time that like the world as I knew it was just like changing. <laughs> um, so that was crazy. And then I just had to go on stage and like smile and like dance for all these people. Just such an odd juxtaposition of emotions. So that was weird. And then we were supposed to have one more show in Florida, but then that got canceled. So ended up, staying in Miami for a few days. I remember calling my mom when I was in the hotel and I was like, hey, like what's going on at home? Like, what is it like there? And she was like, honestly, like don't come home. <laughs> she was like, just stay, like stay in Florida. And I was like, I mean, okay, you don't have to ask me twice. So I ended up 
not taking the flight home that I was supposed to take home and staying in Miami for a few days um, with a couple friends. And this was kind of before, like, this was like pre-social distancing, pre like no large crowds. Like this was like at the very beginning when like nobody knew what was going on. And it was also like spring break time. So me and Mel and our other friend Victoria and her boyfriend Mishu, we went into uh, Miami Beach on a Saturday night and just had the time of our lives. Like it was a lot of fun. Like it was so much fun. Also kind of terrifying. I've never seen so many people in one place in my entire life, I don't think. Like literally thousands and thousands of people. So I stayed in Miami for a few days and then came home and quarantined in my apartment in Philly by myself for 14 days, just as a safety precaution, like as a safe safeguard because I didn't want to come home from Miami, which was like a literal like epicenter of the pandemic. <laughs> didn't want to like bring anything home to my parents or you know, my dad. So I stayed in my apartment for two weeks and then I actually went home for the remainder of the semester. And that's when kind of things started to like really like settle in that like, this was a new era of humanity. Like that's what it felt like. Like this was a new era of mankind. <laughs> Sounds crazy, but just going from living in Philly for the past four years to living in my childhood bedroom, like there's nothing wrong with being home or my childhood bedroom. I love my childhood bedroom, but it's just such an odd, like you go from having all of this freedom in college to going back to, to you know, like high school. Like I felt like I was back in high school. I don't think I've actually spent <laughs> that much time with my parents. And I'm so thankful that I did have this time with them, but I haven't spent that much like consistent time with my parents since probably before high school. Not even in high school did I spend that much time with them. So that was like crazy. And I'm so thankful I had that time with them. It was just a little odd, you know? It was just a little odd for everybody. I spent most of my time at home either writing songs, watching Netflix, um, various Netflix shows. Okay, so over the summer, a lot of my friends were getting jobs, starting relationships, um, basically just moving on with their lives, you know, after college, which, you know, as they should, that's normal. And I felt like I was kind of just like stagnating. Like I was just doing what I've always done and I needed something different, you know? And I also figured since I don't really know what I want to do with my life right now, why not buy myself some time and go to Ireland? So that's like, the main reason I'm here is um, to buy myself some time before I actually have to like make some power moves in my life. But I consider this a power move. I'm restarting my YouTube channel and that'll be like my nine to five, you know? <laughs> so also over quarantine, forgot about this little guy. Um, not little guy, big guy. My family and I, my mom, my sister and I actually worked on developing an app called Olas Irish Dance, E-O-L-A-S. I'll put the logo up on the screen. We wanted to act as a community blog for the Irish dance world, for anybody from dancers to teachers, parents, musicians, vendors, like anybody even tangentially related to the Irish dance world to have their voices heard. Um, because we feel like it's really important for people to be able to tell their stories because it doesn't feel like there's a lot of opportunity for people's stories to really be heard in the Irish dance world. And I, I that's something I'm really passionate about and really want to, we really want to give a space for people to be heard, you know? I think that's really important. So that we've been working on that. I've done a lot of the back end designing for it and a lot of the graphics for the social media platforms and stuff, which takes up a lot of my time. Like that's what I spend my time with. I just have to make sure it's still recording. <laughs> I'm so on edge recording on an iPhone. I need to get a camera. Oh my gosh. So that's what I've been doing with my life. And while I'm here in Ireland, I either am working on that or writing music. I do these little quick write sessions every day where I, just get whatever chords I can think of down, some beat, and then I try to come up, you know, I, I try to do it in like 20 minutes and just write either like a hook or a verse or like, or like a melody, even just to like, just to like get what's in my brain, like out. I'm running out of money. I'm running out of places to hide on the road. And I know that you're moving on like the cars on the highway. I'm having so many issues with this. I I just recorded that whole last part in slow-mo 
Thankfully, you can speed it up, but it looks a little janky, but that's fine. Anyway, um, that's pretty much it for this video, but I'm gonna make a Q&A video literally immediately following this, so hopefully see you in like five seconds as soon as this outro is done. Be sure to like this video, comment on it, comment your thoughts, um, comment your favorite Claro song. <laughs> Frank Ocean song, comment your favorite anything. Make sure to subscribe, please, please and thank you. And share this video with a friend. Um, I think that'd be awesome. And yeah, hopefully I will see you guys in literally five seconds. I'll link the Q&A video right now. So be sure to watch that. And I love you guys and I'll see you right now, very soon. Very, 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 very soon. Follow me on social media also, it's all linked in the bio, whatever, bye. <laughs>